If it comes to saving you, or the kid, or the time stone, I will not hesitate to let either of you die. Here's your look at the new Kotopakia Avengers Infinity War Doctor Strange Artifacts statue. Dr. Stephen Strange is part of the new Artifacts statue of one-tenth scale pre-painted model kits from the folks over at Kotovakia. Just before getting this review underway, let's figure out how tall Doctor Strange is. So putting the tape mesh right to the very top of his head. And right there. The new Artifacts release of Doctor Stephen Strange stands at 8 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be, let's do that right now, 20.3 centimeters tall. The Dear Doctor is beside himself, literally beside himself as he does make up of or well, he comes comprised of multiple pieces that you have to put together when you get this one out of box let's show you how everything puts together but before we do that let's have a look at the terrain in which the statue stands atop of right off the bat you'll probably see a pair one two three four four in total but a pair of two uh, grouped together peg holes this will supply be the supplied sections in which the feet will plant themselves to the display base bottom uh, sort of a muddier terrain area here, some series of alternating colors, uh, but very happily marrying themselves together. You've got that kind of lighter, kind of clay color, and then mixed amongst that, you've got this darker tone that's been added in there as well. It's simplistic, it's not overly complicated. There's the underside of what the display base looks like, but a good starting point for where you can put the doctor's feet into. Speaking of feet, this is the lower half of Doctor Strange. You can see that the peg holes are varied in sizes. It, one side is clearly smaller than the other. This side actually looks to be the same. And when you are putting this into place, there really is only one way that you can do it. You can take the, obviously the smaller pegs of the heels and those will line up to the back sections right here attach it in one place and it may involve actually you stretching pushing the foot slightly over before you can plant those pegs into the holes provided there's a lower half of dr strange now let's start working our way up the top half of this pre-painted snap together model consists of his torso of course and uh, no hands no head either and his glorious cape colored here in a crim crimson red with again some darker kind of darker tones added in there as well more of the darker tones actually make present appearance more in the interior of the cape than on the outside um, I like the degree of texturing that they added to it much like in the movie he's got these patches a rather smooth cape that has sort of seam lines running through it and then he's got these larger patches of texturing when you flip the cape around, however, you get a lot more of that kind of almost like chain mail sort of texturing on the interior here. I'm going to take the torso and it only goes one way. It They are smart enough to give you kind of like a pre-shaped kind of guideline as to the way that this is going to peg into place. But much like the human anatomy, you know that the torso is going to face forward and we're just going to snap that into place like that. The finishing touches for the Dear Doctor will include Doctor Strange's head. It's a fantastic head sculpt capturing the likeness of Benedict Cumberbatch, who has portrayed exquisitely the Dear Doctor, Doctor Strange, in the films. 
Uh, again, I think the head portrait is quite good. I thought initially that the coloring of his skin was maybe a little too orange, but uh, the more I look at it, actually, the more I think it is accurate to the way it was in the film. The beard, the gray, even in the sides of his hair, are captured, like I said, quite exquisitely. When you are attaching it into the socket, the neck socket, that is, you would think it would go this way. But seeing as his attention is focused this way, you're actually going to angle the head like that. The guidelines also are your aid, sort of a kind of a message bubble sort of shape. And the point is going to face down, leading then the head to face this way. Now, okay, so let's talk the Sorcerer Supreme's hand options. He does technically come with two, well, multiple, let's say multiple ways to display the figure. Let me show you what I mean. So he starts with a pair of flat palms. Now these hands obviously will only go in one type of socket, but just in case, again, you were uncertain, uh, they specifically shape them differently on the back. You can see there are sort of like Tetris shapes. One looks a little bit more like an L. This one kind of looks like an inverted T, but this tells you exactly which ways that they can go into place. You'll line them up and again, take the proper ways, but thumbs also will go in. That'll be an indicator to you as well. It was just pegged into place like so. And then you have this desired look for him. The other thing he comes included with though is his circular uh, circular field of energy here, these circular magical discs that he has in the film. Uh, one is only attached to this hand. The other, well, the other hand we'll talk about in a second. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. This is comprised of a translucent orange plastic, slightly, like I said, translucent. You can kind of see my hand going behind it here. Uh, it does look quite good. And I like the fact that they've given it as much detail as they have, complete even with the outer ring of it done in almost a lighter version of that orange. Now, this will only go into this hand here which again, gives you the options. I initially was gonna say two variations, but again, like you can mix and match these. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hand off the socket, out of the socket, and we're gonna replace the hand with the, the disc of magic right there. Now you can either keep this hand as it is, or they also give you this hand as well, sort of a conjuring spell hand. And the hand actually only goes on this side right here. So again, you can either have this look or you can take the hand out of the socket, just like that. And then you can replace it with this hand here. Now, personally speaking, for my own desired taste, I kind of like the spell casting hand to be paired with the disc energy, the disc magic hand here as the preferred look. But again, like you can mix and match these. You could take, for example, this hand out I know, I know, you get the idea, but you can take this hand out, you can replace it with this hand, and then again, you can just have uh, Stephen Strange just before he's about to summon one of his spells. I like that. I like variation, and I love when companies give you options and different ways that you can mix and match, change out, and get a desired look specifically for your collection. Some people may all ultimately want Stephen Strange to look like this, some would prefer the doctor to have the energy disc, the magic disc, and then you can just attach it like so. So again, I really do like that quite a bit. Ultimately, I think I'm gonna settle in this review, ultimately probably settling with this desire to look as well on the shelf. And again, let's just have a look at this now fully finished Doctor Strange. Of course, we've already spent a lot of time kind of just dabbling into the different elements of the figure. It's got some great palettes of different colors, primarily, of course, the blue and then the red on the backdrop of the cape. A mix of that, you've got some gold there on the front areas in which the cape is attached to his, to his torso. I really love the natural flow in which the rope drapes itself down tied off very securely with his belt and you've got like a few of these little extra strappings of his belt that drape down on the front of his skirt here. Uh, of course no Doctor Strange collectible would be complete without the eye of Agamotto prominently presented here draped down in front of his uh, in front of his gown here. Uh, it's done very nicely here in gold. You can see the opened eye done in a, almost a metallic green, and then the alternating red and black strappings there of its cord. 
do really want to go back though to his face. I'm really happy with how his face sculpt turned out. It's slightly on a more pastel end of things. You can see again they've kept the paint very soft uh, to the way it was applied. A lot of reds and slightly more pinkish hues, even like the coloring on the underside of his beard here, he gets a slightly darker color there as well. But it's kept, like I said, very soft something that seems to be a carried trait for a lot of the Kotobukiya pieces that they do keep like the skin complexion not to a very strong contrast but instead being like I said much softer in nature. Like I said definitely my favorite aspect of this statue is the interchangeable swap out hand options. Like I said I probably will settle with having the disc in one hand the summoning spell hand in the other but again being that they give you also different hand options, you can display the Dear Doctor in a different way than I've currently got him here. No matter how you display the Sorcerer Supreme here, whether you want to display him with the Disc of Magic and the Spellcast Hand, or if you want to just display him with the Flat Hand, unanimous opinion I'm sure would be, either way you would want to display this one in your current statue collection. The good news though is if you are interested in picking this one up and acquiring the Doctor Strange for yourself, the Kotobukiya Avengers Infinity War Doctor Strange Artifact Statue, that's a very long title, should be available now at your local comic book store. Let's say the off chance that you go into your store and they don't stock this Doctor Strange or some of the other Kotobukiya pieces that you've seen, fear not, don't worry, don't get discouraged. You should be able to check with the owner or even at the very least the person that works behind the counter. They want to provide you business, so of course they should be able to order these ones in lickety splits, probably about a week, maybe a two week period, and you should have this one available in stock, then you can go in and pick it up. I do this often at times myself, so I speak from example, that there's a lot of times that a store that I go to frequently just doesn't have the ones that I'm looking for, and I will get them to order them in. They'll usually call you and tell you, hey, you're whatever piece it may be is currently I've got it back in stock or I was able to order one in it's here right now you can go and pick it up and then the dear doctor will be part of your collection uh, either way though if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself check your local comic book stores also if you're looking to get some more Kota Bikia pieces as part of your collection the, always the best thing I would suggest is check your local stores don't go online always want to support your local comic book stores uh, also, if you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Kota Bikia reviews, there's a playlist just for Kota Bikia. Today, once again, we are having a look at the new Kota Bikia. I just said Kota Bikia a whole lot of times. This was the Avengers Infinity War Artifacts Doctor Strange 1 10th scale pre-painted model kit. Not even sure how I'm going to put that all in the title. Uh, also, if you guys haven't had a chance yet to do so, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. We're going to have some more statue reviews and some other Kota Bikia pieces coming soon to this channel, so keep your eyes peeled. Never like saying that. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. And I'll see you guys next time.